Hi everyone, welcome. Trish here. Thank you so much for coming in to say hi. I hope you're going to stay for a while and I hope that you enjoy the video. This is going to be a haul video. This is from Bath and Body Works Walmart, Ulta, and Juno. So if you are interested in what I have purchased, then please keep watching. For my birthday, I got a coupon from Bath and Body Works. And I am one, there are certain scents that throw me into a migraine. So I have to go in if, if it's a new scent and I have to give it a smell to make sure it's not gonna like put me in bed for a week. I picked out two of these. This one is my favorite. I think it smells so, it smells so good, so clean, so yummy. Almond. Blossom. I got the moisturizing body wash. They had these for six or seven dollars and I did end up picking up three of these and then I got a matching body spray and the other one that I liked was Cactus Blossom. Isn't the packaging so pretty? And I did once again, I got the moisturizing body wash. I got two of these and then also the body spray with that also. I do have a small haul from Dollar General. Let me go ahead and show you what I got there. I heard somebody here on YouTube raving about this mascara. It is the Belief line from Dollar General. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't been in there for a while. So I'm gonna run in, see if I see anything I like. And I went for this mascara specifically. And I will tell you that this is a lovely mascara. If you are looking for one, here's the applicator. If you're looking for a mascara that is going to give you lift and separation, make your lashes look lusciously long, you might want to check this one out for $5. That's all it was. And it is the Belief. I cannot remember who I heard talking about that mascara. I just, I love to try mascaras, so I got that one. They also have this. This is the Volume Eyes Mascara. And as you can see, I have not tried this one yet. While I was there, I kind of scoped out a few other things, and I saw this from Belief also. This is their color corrector. I love this. It is the perfect consistency. I have used it every day, except for today. I tried to use as much Flower Beauty as I had because when I went to buy it at Walmart, I didn't realize that they were gonna sell out that quick of everything. They clearanced it out. Our Walmarts around here have Flower Beauty no more. Nevertheless, I have loved this. This was something else that I purchased from Belief. I wanted to try one of these eyeshadow palettes that's going in the garbage. These nail polishes, and then I went and got my nails done again because I could not, I was not strong, and I gave in, and he left them a little long, but that's okay. But I got these two colors. Aren't they pretty? I am going to give this purple glitter one to my granddaughter because that is her obsession. And this green one, I'm going to be sending out a couple little packages to some girls, and I'm going to throw those in, throw that in and I have some other nail polishes that I can toss in there for them. And then from the Dollar General, I picked up two more of these. These are so hard to find. You can get them with teeth that are actually painful, but these are nice and I want to have one in each bathroom. Back to Walmart. Their sale on the Flower Beauty was crazy. They had their concealers for $4.50. I got a light medium, this color. And I already had a light, but it is very yellow. So when I saw last night for $4.50, I could get a fair and it is much more pink tone. I went ahead and grabbed that. I really like Flower Beauty concealers almost as much as I like their foundation. I really do enjoy both things very much. But at Walmart last night, I saw this and I heard some girl talking about it. And I'm like, really? I don't think I've tried that. This is the Wonder Lux Volume. This is the waterproof. This is infused with four luxurious oils. And I got it in black. 
And I have I have really been impressed with some things from CoverGirl lately. So I saw this and I got really excited because we're going to have a lash off. We're going to put my Holy Grail Essence Lash Primer against the new CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I didn't even know this existed. So we're going to do this really soon. I also saw that they had a Easy Breezy Brow from CoverGirl and I grabbed it. This is the clear one. They do have collars. I have different colored ones, but sometimes, you know when you have that that perfect brow collar for your brows and you don't want to add any color, so I did want a clear one to add to my collection for that. And then also with CoverGirl, I had wanted to try this. This is the Exhibitionist. This is the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This is number two at first blush. I forgot this. This is also from the Dollar General. This is the Eyeliner in Belief. This is their Metallic Liquid Eyeliner. I wanted the green so bad. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm excited to try that. I might do a green look after all. I'm pretty sure that was Dollar General. Oh, they had these at Flower Beauty too. I love this. Where's the one that I've been using? The Flower Beauty Tapered Concealer Brush. I know it's dirty, I apologize. Oh, this isn't it. Oh, I thought I got an I thought I got another one of these. This is a shadow and shade. Ooh, it's two-sided. I'll try it out. Those tapered concealer brushes are really nice though. But I did pick up this other Flower Beauty blush brush. I have used, I have another one I've used as a highlight brush. You can use it for either. You could even use it for contour if you wanted to. I don't, you, I don't usually just use my brushes for one specific thing. At Ulta, I did, I did take advantage and get one shampoo and conditioner. This is the Matrix So Long Damage. I heard so many people talk about this a year or so ago, and I grabbed one then, and I really did like it. It didn't weigh my hair down. I felt like it hydrated it, but it wasn't like a repair status that dried your hair out any either. But this is really nice. I do enjoy it. So I grabbed, grabbed those while they were on sale. And then I got my birthday present. Long, the Lancome Monsoor Big. Isn't that cute? Um, mascara. So I will be giving that a go. I think I, I don't know if I tried that before or not. But I do want to try that again. I needed some body scrubs. So I decided to try the Shea Moisture. This is the Purple Rice Water Velvet Skin Rice Scrub with White Orchid and Sweet Violet Extract. So that's what this one looks like. And this one is Coconut Cactus Water with Blue Agave for dehydrated skin. Alta is where I picked up the Flower Warrior Mascara. I have it on for the first time today and I have to say that I really do enjoy this. I was really blown away. It really did lengthen, volumize, and fan out my lashes. I really like this. This is a this is a really strong contender to become a permanent resident here. And I heard so many people talk about Essence Volume Stylus Curl and Hold. So I wanted to give that a try. I kind of think I tried that before, but then I don't remember. And the Volume Hero Waterproof from Essence. Essence can have some really good mascaras. So, And then I wanted to try these. I finally jumped in and bought it. This is the CoverGirl Cream Eyeshadow Stick. They were buy two, get one free. This one is stuck up. That's really pretty. I was hoping that is the exact color it would be. It reminds me of Painterly. The one that I have tried and been using is Prima Donna. I believe this is the lighter. It's more of a cream color. This one is the Prima Donna. These are super nice. A couple times this week, but I would take them and put them right in the inner corner out to here. Then I take my finger and just pat it. And that was, you know, that was it. Whatever I had here in the outer corner, I would just kind of sweep in just so it flowed nicely. So easy to work with. It didn't crease. It didn't budge. 
It looked good and fresh. I was so impressed with those fruit sticks. I got another Milani liner. This one is the one in Duchess, which is the purple one. I was really excited for the purple one. It is their new, it is their new stay put. These are so nice and creamy. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. I'm making such a mess. And then the other thing that I got, I think it was the last thing I bought, was a Color Pop volumizing mascara. I'm not going to open this one right now, but we will definitely give that a try here soon. I got two other free gifts. One, it says celebrate with Tarte. I don't know if it was a birthday gift or what. The Tartist Lip Paint in Home Slice. It's a really pretty color. Yeah, that is really pretty. And this I was so stoked about. It's because I got the Shea Moisture Body Scrubs. I saw it in the little zipper and I thought, what in the world is this? So this is a purifying and hydrating multi-mask. So that's what that looks like. This is everything. It's a lined shower cap. Y'all, if you don't have a lined shower cap, you need one, especially if you have fine hair. If you want to wait till every other day to wash your hair, you can put your hair up, jump in the shower, put it in one of these, and it doesn't get that limp, kind of a weird look, feel to it. If you have fine color treated hair, you know what I mean. But I was super excited about this. So from Walmart, I came upon these. I did post these on my Instagram. This is the new Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighter. Is this one I opened? But this is really pretty. Now that's just, you know, that's not sheared out or anything. A little brush. See, it shears down. I'll show you the side so maybe you'll see the color. That one is Pink Me Up. I'm not gonna open these other two. I'm gonna send one to a friend. This one is Glow for the Gold Snow Much Ice. That's a lot of highlighter. From Target, I picked up this Soap and Glory Foundation. I'm just gonna say kick it. There's really no reason to, um, yeah, I'm a fuddy-duddy about that. I want my granddaughter to be able to set her children down long after I'm gone and know that it's okay for them to watch and get to know me. And she doesn't have to worry that, you know, she needs to plug their ears every few minutes or whatever. This is CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. And then I really do like the new Revlon Vinyl Lips. I really do enjoy these. So I wanted to get a warmer collar because I had all the ones I had are cool. So I picked this up and it is Act Natural. These are really pretty and they are so shiny. They're so sexy. My mom placed a Mary Kay order and I just grabbed a couple lipsticks while she was ordering. This one is Rosewood. Isn't that pretty? It's just a really pretty. This is Natural Beauty. And it's more of a sheer. It's very, this one, this one right here. It's more sheer. It's very emollient feeling on. This one is Sparkling Rose right here. This one is Citrus Flirt. This my mom ordered and she's like, oh my gosh, that is way too light. And I'm like, that could be like my perfect nude. So I'm going to be trying that real soon. And last but not least, my order from Juno. I wanted to try their sponges. I didn't know they had so many and of course I needed to try them all. This is their velvet sponge, the rose mini sponges, the cloud sponge, which when you wet it, it's this size. So far my favorite. Mary told me it probably would be. This is the lemon drop sponge. Just got this the other day so I truly have not got to use them. I got a couple of each because I wanted to share with my daughter. This is the sculpting sponge. 
This is the precision sponge. This one is. It's different than the just velvet sponge. And then a couple more minis. And the rose velvet sponge. And the lavender velvet sponge. Yeah. And I got some, oh, I got some lashes. I got some for myself and my daughter. These are Boom. It's the white ones. And this is the lashes. And then we have Super. And wow. And this, I didn't know what this was, but I know it needed a home. I'm gonna open it real quick. I actually got two of these. And there is a little sponge on the inside, and it's a face cleanser. And I have been using the other one, and I do enjoy it. It's not over aggressive, but it does a nice, smooth, gentle exfoliation. And I like that it has little stands, so it lets the sponge inside dry out. Now, this is something that I would use for probably a month and then throw away and replace it because it does have the sponge enclosed and there's only these holes and then this one but still just for myself a little face on top too but yeah I've enjoyed it I just thought it was cute needed a home I got two because who wants to go to a new home alone so but the Juno one, this one, the cloud one, which Mary said that was her favorite, definitely. It is so soft. It is so nice. I love this. And these might actually last. I, I am horrible with Beauty Blender. I will rip it in less than a week. I am not kidding you. I don't know what it is. The pink ones especially, it's horrible. But these Juno ones, I think they're going to last me. So I'm looking forward to it. That is it for my haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.